What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm Michigan Sports Talk here. In this one, we got some huge transfer portal rumors and news for Michigan basketball. It's going to be talking about a seven foot forward that Michigan is trending for right now, plus a couple of other transfers that Michigan has reached out and made contact with, plus Michigan loses a commitment from one of their 2024 signees. And at the end of the video, we also talk about Michigan hockey as they advance to the Frozen Four after a 5-2 victory over Michigan State. State. It's all going to be in this video and more, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so we're going to talk about all the transfer portal targets that Dusty May and Michigan is going after right now, but I first did want to talk about Christian Anderson Jr. as the 2024 Michigan signee announced Friday that he is reopening his recruitment and decommitting for Michigan. He announced on an Instagram post and he said I want to take a moment to thank John Howard and his staff for recruiting me since I was a sophomore in high school. I loved everything about what Michigan was offering. However, with the recent news of Michigan parting ways with Juwan and his staff, I'd like to announce that I have reopened my recruitment and will be take this time to decide what the best school for me next year will be. Now, he's been committed to Michigan since October of 2021, so uh, it does suck to lose him, but Anderson, you know, uh, clearly just didn't think he would fit in. The good news, though, is that uh, Dusty May has been in contact with the other 2024 signee, which is Darrell Brooks, who was uh, Mr. Basketball in the state of Michigan this year. It sounds like uh, Dusty May in Michigan should be able to keep him as he affirmed his commitment to the Wolverines a few days ago. So that's good news. But as far as the transfer portal goes, Dusty May has been busy. First guy I wanted to talk about is the Yale big man, seven foot forward Danny Wolf. He was a sophomore this past year, so he'll have two years of eligibility remaining. But this past season, he averaged 14.1 points, 9.7 rebounds, and 2.4 assists per game while shooting 47.2% for uh, field goal percentage. Also shot 34.5% from three. And per Davis Mosley uh, of 24-7 Sports and the Michigan Insider, Wolf entered the portal with a do not contact tag. Uh, since then, though, he has contacted, contacted several programs, including Michigan, and right now Michigan seems to be in a great position to land him. So it would be a huge pickup. Seems to me like he would be another kind of like a John Teske uh, for Michigan, a big guy that can, you know, not only go in and get rebounds and do the work inside, but can also shoot the three and has a nice little shot. Now, obviously, another big man that Michigan could use is the FAU. Uh, player Vlad Golden, another seven foot center. But uh, so far, no FAU players have entered the portal. That is, including Vlad Golden, uh, Elijah Martin, and Janelle Davis, who are all favorites to potentially uh, follow Dusty May wherever he was going to go. But they have not entered the portal yet, so you know they may have. Uh, other plans, we'll just have to wait and see on that. But Michigan and Dusty May, they have been going after a lot of guards in the portal. Most recently that they have reached out to is the Georgetown transfer, Rowan Brumball. He is a 6'4 guard. Last year, he averaged 8.3 points, 2.2 rebounds, 2.6 assists per game. He was 40.7% for field goal percentage and 37% from three. Uh, he's played one season with Georgetown after redshirting a year at Texas as well well and he just had three years of eligibility remaining he played shooting guard and also some point guard and i uh, really stepped it up late in the season he actually scored in double figures in six of seven games during a stretch from mid february february to early march also scored 24 points against xavier which was his career best and then another guard that michigan is going after is a big one that was announced a couple days ago as Michigan is or has reached out to the Belmont guard Cade Tyson who is a three-point magician as a sophomore last year he averaged 16.2 points 5.9 rebounds and 1.6 assists per game with a 49.3 percent field goal percentage and a 46.5 percent three-point percentage now a ton of schools have already offered him and they're not offered him but uh you know reached out and is interested in him he does have two seasons of eligibility remaining he is a 6-7 guard 
uh, all these guards that Michigan is reaching out to, you know, they're all on the taller side, which is nice. Now, this would be a big pickup for Michigan if they were able to get Cade Tyson. He would fit Dusty May's system perfectly. You know, he, he said he wants to shoot a lot of threes as long as they have the roster to do that. And getting Cade Tyson would be perfect for that. Um, and then obviously another guard that Michigan has already offered, we talked about in our last basketball video, is the Wisconsin transfer guard, Connor Asijin, who is another good shooter and uh, seems to be mutual interest between the two. So Michigan does have a good shot at landing him as well. But another guard is the Vanderbilt transfer, Jason Rivera Torres. He's a 6'6 uh, guard who was a freshman last season, averaged 6.4 points, 3.1 rebounds, and 0.6 assists last year year shot 33.3% for field goal percentage and 24.1% from three he did, he did shoot a lot of threes last year but Michigan and Dusty May has reached out to him as well now there is a little connection here as FAU was actually a finalist in his recruitment when Dusty May was head coach there during his high school recruiting process and he took an official visit to FAU last year so clearly you know there was something that Dusty May liked about him and they already have a connection so that could be a factor here in his transfer portal recruitment but Michigan has also reached out to the 6'5 guard from Louisville Mike James averaged 12.6 points 5 rebounds and 1.5 assists last year as a sophomore he did redshirt his first year which gives him two season seasons of eligibility remaining as he is a re he was a redshirt sophomore last year last year he shot a 39.6% field goal percentage with a 34% three-point percentage he did shoot 81.8% at the free throw line though and he also converted on 50.4 percent of his shots at the rim so he can definitely drive in and get to the rim he's also a 34 percent for the season on catch and shoot threes including 46.3 percent when he was unguarded and obviously he's leaving louisville who also had a coaching turnover as uh you know they wanted dusty may he was their top choice but michigan was able to beat them out and then the last guy i'll talk about is the graduate transfer guard six six guard uh, from Colorado, Javon Lee, or Giovanni Hadley last uh, last season, he averaged 11.6 points, 6 rebounds, and 2.4 assists with a 53.8% field goal percentage and 41.7% from three while shooting 83.9% from free throws. He's a guy with a ton of experience and will have one year of eligibility remaining and he led Colorado uh, to a 26 and 11 record also beat Boise State in the first four in Florida in the first round before falling to Marquette in the second round so he would be another nice pickup uh, at least for you know the young guys as well you know he has a lot of experience so uh, Michigan and in contact with him and all of those transfer portal targets let me know what you guys think about all of them who you guys would want but uh, Dusty May putting in work right now trying to build a good roster for next season for this Michigan basketball team I'm very excited to see who he gets and also how this team will look next season but uh, the last thing I did want to talk about is Michigan hockey as they defeat Michigan State 5-2 and get revenge on them to advance to the Frozen Four their third straight Frozen Four it was a great game pretty close until the third period where Michigan ripped off four goals as they had another strong third period just like they did against North Dakota so they will be taking on the number one seed Boston College for a chance to go to the national championship but uh, other than that that is going to wrap up today's video hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure you guys go ahead drop a like comment down below and subscribe for more if you are new around here I greatly appreciate it but other than that we will see you guys in the next video go blue